You get it? Powerwall update. Hi, welcome to Canna Spader Christmas. So I've got several videos that are kind of baking, but none of them are complete and ready for viewing. So I'm gonna give you an update. There's been a lot going on with respect to the Powerwall. Um, batteryhookup.com if you are looking for headway batteries uh battery hookup has them now i'll put a link below in the description it's there he's selling it off the ebay store um i did not see it on his website but it is on the ebay store so i'll put a link to that if you are looking for headway batteries the headway batteries are um life po4 or life po4 uh chemistry and if the selling them in fours if you put four of them together they make a really nice 12 volt battery uh thing about headways is they have a very high drain capability so like 25c or something and um there are some videos of people starting cars with four of them uh i not recommending you go out and ditch your lead acid battery for one but you know i'm just saying that's the kind of power that these things have in them and they're life po4 so they're a little bit more stable than lithium ion uh it's also a different voltage so if you're going to play with them you know make sure you know what uh, all the specs on those batteries are but i did want to at least get the message out that he has some of these and uh, has them available on ebay I believe uh, last time I talked, spoke about the Opus, uh, I had a couple of them where the fan stopped working. It wasn't the fan's fault. It was the uh, temperature circuit inside here. Something went wrong and so it wasn't turning the fan on. And Terry uh, at Power to Spare said that he has some 12 volt fans that he would send me and uh, I could try those out. So I did and these things actually work really well so the only downside is there is no off so as soon as you plug it in it's going and it stays on uh, now after having used these for a little bit i actually kind of like them the cells stay very cool and uh and you know you run them on the one amp charge discharge kind of thing and they do work out really well So thank you, Terry, for sending me these. Uh, I may pick up a couple more of them because I actually like, uh, like these running. Now, if you've got these in a place where noise is gonna be a problem, probably don't wanna do that because they stay on all the time. And uh, if you have four or five of them running, it's gonna be pretty noisy. But if they're in an area like in here in the shop, when I'm in here, these things can run and not bother me, unless I'm videotaping something. So if you're looking for something like this, uh, I'll put a link to Terry's store. It's Power to Spare on eBay. Uh, he is working on a website, but I don't know if that is ready quite yet. So check out the eBay store. The reason I have not got a full video uh, for you is because I ran into a little issue putting, actually assembling the packs. Now I came up with an idea and I will do a complete comprehensive video on this uh but i did want to show you that i did get at least one of them together um so on the back i used nickel strip and uh just welded the nickel strip to the the cells and then the uh the bus bar um, I actually soldered that before I put it on to the battery pack. So um, I'll, like I said, I'll show you this in the video. 
Uh, the main problem though was the front where all the fuses go. So each one of these cells has a fuse, a one amp fuse, and, and the fuse connects it to the bus bar, which then comes out here. Getting those little fuses on there was a bit of a challenge. Now I did purchase this K-Weld welder. So this is what I use to uh, weld the, the strip to the cells. I also tried it on the fuses. Now the fuses, little tiny wires. Let me show you the fuse. Well, they come in a roll like this, but each one of those are the fuses. And so you got the skinny little wire that you're trying to weld to the top of the cell. And I had some issues with that. Some of them worked just fine. Uh, some of them, when I did the, you know, when I hit the little foot switch, the, uh, it basically welded the fuse to the tip. Where's the tip? It welded the fuse to the tip, so it came off the cell, and then I had the fuse stuck to the tip. And then occasionally, I would hit the foot switch, and there was a very loud pop. The entire top of the, or the, the metal part of the cell was blackened and the fuse did not adhere to the cell at all. Um, so then I was a little scared and I would like, you know, put the things in there and I'd hit it and it would go fine. And then as each subsequent weld went, then I started relaxing a little bit and then BAM! So then the whole cycle started over again and then I was cautious and then I was not cautious and then BAM! So I haven't quite figured out the technique for welding fuse wire to the top of the cells and I actually tried uh, just soldering it. There is a solder technique uh, demonstrated very well by a YouTube channel called The Combat Engineer and I'll link his video in the description if you want to take a look at that uh, and I actually tried that technique and it worked really well. So however you're going to attach things to your batteries, uh, there's, there's several options. And like I say, I, I'll have a full video on putting, uh, the, putting the thing together and, and everything that I went through. If you are in the US and you are looking to purchase one of these K-Weld welders, um, Keith has got them, well, so he doesn't have them in this eBay store. So Keith has got 18650 heat shrink, uh, the nickel strip, uh, fuses, uh, holders, all kinds of other things in his eBay store. Um, the K Weld, he is uh, kind of, I guess, selling it by email, but he's got a Facebook page called K Weld North America. And so you can find out what his inventory is there. You contact Keith and say what you're looking for, and then he'll send you a PayPal invoice. You pay that, and then he'll send you this. Uh, so that's where you can get these in the U.S. Otherwise, uh, go to keenlab.de. Uh, it's out of Germany. So he's, he's actually the one that, that makes these and sells these. Uh, but Keith is distributing them in the U.S. And they may have other distributors worldwide. I know about the U.S. one because I'm in the U.S. So I will include a link to Keith, uh, Keith's store, uh, eBay store, if you are looking for some of those items. And I will also include a link to his Facebook page where you can get information on the K-Weld. I did do a capacity check on cell number one, cell pack one of baby pack one uh, with the iCharger X6 and it came out to 176.46 amp hours. Uh, now I did limit the voltage between 4.1 and 3.1 um, Repacker said that this combination should get 197.6. Uh, so it's about 20 off and you know, the, the voltage 4.2 to three could, might account for that, I don't know. Uh, but 167 is just, no, 170, 176 uh, is, is adequate for this. So I will, as I build these, I will do a capacity test. And I believe that was at a 10 amp drain. Again, I'll put this in the video that I'm going to do about putting this together. Uh, because I have actually a couple of different 
designs, if you want to call them that. I'm also working on a video uh, about the Batrium BMS, and I uh, got a couple more things to figure out on that before that comes out. So um, stay tuned. So that is the update for this week, and hopefully I can start rolling out some of these videos. I just have, uh, you know, I've got like four or five of them in progress right now, but I'm still waiting on pieces or one or the other to, to get the full thing complete. So uh, as soon as they're complete, I'll release them and you know, you'll enjoy them. So if you're looking for the headway cells, uh, check the link below to Battery Hookup's eBay page and run over there to get them because I would imagine that they will sell fast. Uh, if you're looking for a K-Weld, uh, I'll put the Facebook link to his page and you can get in touch with Keith and pick up your K-Weld. If you just need uh, you know, accessories for your batteries, then check out his eBay store. I just realized that I'm putting a lot of links in this video to product pages. I really, I'm not selling stuff for people. I'm just giving you information, places where you can go to get some of these items if you're looking for them. So if you have any questions for me, leave them below and I will get to them. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Now I shot an email. Game, game. So I got six of these and so they, I got five.